Warning, this podcast contains mature content including scenes or descriptions of graphic violence, sexuality, and psychological trauma. Listener discretion is advised. The The Rancor's Brothel presents... Impossible Landscapes A Delta Green Campaign by Dennis Detweiler So Reggie, you sort of get almost knocked to the ground as you sort of see this thing go streaking by you um, on the tracks, um, disappearing down, a, down a, you know, flying down the hallway, disappears uh, around a turn. And you're kind of just dubfounded by what has just happened. And while you're kind of standing there, mouth agape, you kind of hear a little bell. Ding, ding. And then you hear like a very slow <laughs> of uh, doors slide open slightly down the hallway in front of you <laughs> and you see Charlie poke his head out and goes ah there's your friends right there and Frankie steps off the elevator very subtle oh, perfect it's <laughs> what I came up with on the 10 minute drive home <laughs> <laughs> took you 10 minutes <laughs> man I feel like we gotta I feel like we could have improvised that you didn't have to come up with something um, and don't forget, uh, you're more than welcome to come with them too to have dinner with me. Wait, what? I w- In the elevator door slide shut. I wasn't looking for my friend. I'm trying to get out of here. I was looking for a place to leave. The elevator door slide shut in, that, in front of you. It's like that Hotel California song. Such a lovely place. Somebody's going to make a parody of the Hotel Brattle Bin. Yeah? Jeff, get on that. I'm sure if anyone can do it, it's probably yeah, Jeff. I, ideally, we would throw that to Ian, but I think I want no, Jeff. No, no, I want no, Jeff no, no. to do it. I this want time. Jeff. I want Jeff to I do it. I want this Jeff time. recorded in the bathroom, <laughs> so it's nice and echoey. Singing a hotel brothel bin. Welcome to the hotel brothel bin. Yeah. So anyway, in a MIDI version of the background. I would imagine very shortly after this lovely little uh, moment of reuniting appears, one of the other three of you probably hits the door, um, coming outward and comes across this tableau whichever one of you wants to fight your way out the door first or last. wait wait so so do i get do i get a, a scene of what's happening here like so i come down an elevator get uh, out to the hall you he says oh there's your friends you, yeah no you you were just <laughs> pushes you out with a broomstick on? well right i don't i don't care about the pre- I, don't, I, I don't care about the previous stuff because frankie doesn't even care anymore he's, he's he wants to know what's going on right now like what's the scene i see frankie lives in the moment <laughs> You've been pushed out of an elevator by an old man who you only remember speaking to in mid conversation. Um, and you see uh, you see a sort of pale faced um, uh, um, Reggie Reggie just standing at you gawked open mouth probably moments before several other f- uh, of your party spill out of the. Um, OK, so but it's a hallway. Door. Yeah, you're okay. hallway. And, and there's like doors to like rooms. Correct. OK, that is mostly how hotels that, work. That's that. <laughs> Most hotels, yes. <laughs> we stayed sure. at the Boxer Hotel that had a whole room that didn't exist. That's true. What was it that Cody said that before we recorded? Only, so only, only sometimes an ass or only a little bit of an ass. Sorry, sorry. That tickled me in a way I didn't expect it to. Kind of an ass. <laughs> yeah, mostly an ass. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, guys! I found Frankie. That old man was supposed to get get me out of the hotel, not bring me back to you guys. What do you want to leave for? What's uh, because? <laughs> what, it's such a lovely place. What's, also, what took you so long? What do you mean? What took me so, so long to do? What I was trying to leave. I was trying to get out of here. How long have we been here? Like a day. What have you been? Don't, don't, that don't, old guy don't in the elevator told me he knew a way out, and then he leads me to you guys and act like he was taking me to you the whole time. <laughs> Classic what's, Charlie. He's what's right Abigail's? What's Abigail's dad doing here? Where'd he come from? <laughs> <laughs> been here the whole time. I don't he wasn't here when I got. None of you guys changed characters, right? Sorry. That's a good question. question. No, yeah. we, did, we did not. Yeah. We did Daniel, not. Daniel um, is asking some very fair questions. Yes. Like no yeah. idea what has transpired. Oh, um, that is, that is fair. We did not. No, we are your friends. No, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You see the you see the flesh slide off of the metal <laughs> undercarriage. And- <laughs> Face pops open. <laughs> You haven't missed that much except a marionette on the ceiling. Where did it go? Can we follow it? <laughs> um, it went that way. We should probably figure out what that is. Can can we start to walk that direction? Sure. Sweet. Whatever you want to do. 
Do we see the track then? Is it like, is it visible? Uh, do you see a track? Oh, I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> do I? Do you want me to roll something? <laughs> Would you like to have any input down there, Troy? In terms of, they're kind of asking you which way it went. I, I saw did. It went that way. Fuck that way. A track right. of what? Is, what? What track are you guys talking about? Is it like on the ceiling? Is it on the floor? Is there like a... It's, it's, uh, it's on the ceiling, right? Yeah. <laughs> when somebody says that, you look up and go, yeah. There's like, and so is it just like a, just like a, like a smear of something that like, no, it's like a recessed, um, groove like that, uh, rollers would go in. Okay. It's um, like a mechanical track. Okay. So it's a mech. So it's like, you know, okay. Like the guy in Beetlejuice who got ran over and he's just hanging. (laughs) Yeah. The flat dude. Yeah. (laughs) And you realize that there are tracks coming out of all the rooms. Uh, no. The doorways kind of are actually are almost like notched out. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I was like, how are they going in there if the doors are closed? And but if they have a, and, and, but until somebody said something, you didn't didn't even notice. Wait, so uh, what floor are we on again? Eighth. The eighth. Eighth. That's right. Room eight thirty is what you just came so, running out of. Have you guys figured out any more information since I've been gone? Not really. No. <laughs> no. Just pretty much that this hotel is f- up. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of realized that when I when we got here and they already knew who I was and so they were expecting me. You see, you see how luxurious this hotel is? Frankie can't afford stuff like this. It's tacky. Yeah. Your dad's a mob boss. He probably could. Like Not my dad. Years ago. Or a thousand. Say, Frankie, did you see a uh, a soldier on your way up? Kind of no. seemed out of it. A little lost. Don't out recall. Out of his time. Don't recall. Mm. Mm. Last thing I remember, things kind of fuzzy in the elevator. Getting some kind of bad vibes from the old man. I knew he wasn't going to show me the way out. I don't know why he promised to, but whatever. Um, the only way out is through. Mm. Let's follow those tracks. I didn't even know what happened to you guys. I got to the hotel and I just sat down, ate some food, and uh, then I got up. And I mean, why didn't you just join our table? I didn't see your table. Daniel, uh, when Frankie thinks about it, like... None of that, not none of that makes sense. Like they're right, you were just somewhere else, and now you're just here. Yeah, I know. Like there, you you don't remember anything about an elevator. You don't remember anything about obviously, you know, um, Mr. Wright. You none of this makes any sense. Yeah. You you <laughs> realize that the last time you saw these folks was sitting around a table, and they're playing it as if that was hours ago. For you, that was ten seconds, if that. I don't have the answers you're looking for. I don't have the answers that I'm looking for. <laughs> Weebly wobbly, timey wimey. Well, Frankie, maybe it's best you just stick with us then. I, I, Try to stay I close. Don't, I don't got no other choice. I already tried trying to find a way out and telling you when I was, I, I that, that man in the elevator, I could have swore he told me he was going to lead me the way out. He's going to show me how to get out of whatever bizarre and possible landscape we're in. <laughs> uh, he said the name of the thing. <laughs> Hell yeah! I feel like it was. I feel like it was a, a good time to to bring it in because I feel like we've been in multiple, and this one is a little bit more uh, impossible. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly less possible than the others. It's almost as if like adding an s to the end of words in the English language would mean multiple. Huh? <sighs> Sushis and sashimis. Hungry? Kinda. Why oh, wait? All right, well, what's the plan from here? You're wanting to follow this track on the ceiling? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Just let's do that. New new Black Key song. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff hit it. Jeff hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's got a lot of work to do for this episode. <laughs> He's got to get it done, like, real quick. I'm sure he could throw something together. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to all be MIDI, though. <laughs> Tracks on the ceiling. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's one of those shit cover bands that I want a key tar. No one, no one ever wants to listen to. Line. I want a key. Just a matter of time. I want a key tar in that song. You, you make that work, them. Jeff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's follow it. You walk. You walk down the hallway. The hall kind of. It's a long hallway that then turns and goes for another long distance, and the tracks continue. And what so you, do they what, all kind of converge into one? I was going to say, yeah, you said there are tracks coming out of every room. Yeah, no, they all come mm. into a central track and those central tracks run. Okay. Fudge. Um, all right. So yeah, let's follow. Uh, do we yeah. see what, any doors what, ajar? Yeah. No, they're all doors. Well, he says he said that they had the they had he had like the cutouts above the doors, right? So they can whatever it is can go in and out freely. Yeah, no, the the so, the, the, the molding of the door and the framing of the door is cut out in such a way that the track goes through the wall. Okay, and so what there, you guys seen the thing that was driving on this track, right? Yes. Yeah. What what was it? Was it some kind of just machine? Was it like a It was a marionette in purple in a purple cloak? Yeah. <laughs> 
it's real boy. Was it carrying the bottle that came it's out Shinobio. of the, the lathe? Snatched yeah. it off the lathe. Yeah. So it's taking it somewhere. So it's just bas- it was basically just a puppet that was just right. What that real mm-hmm. real weird question? Would you call this purple a lavender, perhaps? <laughs> I figure it's, it's more like an be, indigo. Let's say I figure it's a more royal purple than a lavender. Okay, good. Phew. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm a little worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't bring that up. What's going on? Spencer has a thing against lavender. So is there is there a way to? I mean, so this thing had was like was like full humanoid body, right? I mean, like a head, arms, legs. That's a that's a good question. I don't remember what. It would have been very like. much like a an artist's. Um, I always think of like the artist um, like the pose. posing mannequin, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Where it's mm-hmm. got the major segments of the yep. body mm-hmm. um, that are then held together by like string. Or it's got a lot more joints, joints than it should. Um, but cloaked in the the purple robes. Uh, right? Correct. But we saw it snatch this bottle off of a lathe in room eight thirty, which I wouldn't recommend going into. I don't want to go into these rooms. None of them. If I can help it. Um, did you get a key from the creepy man downstairs? I did get a key. I'll start reaching in my pockets. Yeah, you have a key. Does it tell me a room number? Yeah. Roll D12. <laughs> what is it? Roll a D12. Oh. It's important. I thought you already gave it to me. That's why I was wondering. Or I thought you already gave me the... Um... I probably did. <laughs> look in your, give it look in your message. That room number. Five. 605. Okay. Oh, I thought it was six. <laughs> That's late. Late. So this thing was running on the ceiling, basically. Yeah. No. no. Well, hanging it's, from. It was hanging from the track and just shot down the track. Did, did we get clarification on how large it was? Uh, I mean, big. Mm, six, at least six feet tall. Well, I'm trying to oh, figure wow. out if there's any, if there's any, like, what I'm trying to think of. I, I would mean, say six or seven is, feet tall. This is, prob- this is probably not Frankie coming up with this idea, but, um, I mean, there's got to be some way to, to track this thing. Is it like, does it leave any kind of... Let's track. What we've been trying to, trying to do. <laughs> it's got to be... <laughs> like, like, it's got a track. You guys... We're tracking it. You guys told me there's, it's like a track, and yeah. I'm thinking of like a train track. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. You know, it's, this track off. is going into multiple rooms. Sadly. We don't know which room is going into. That's why right. I was, so that's why it, I asked if there was a room that was open. Is there a way to get some kind of like does it produce heat? Is there it, mm-hmm. can you fill a track and see which way it went or is there some kind of oil mechanism where it's leaving trails of oil or uh, that's why I was trying to get a uh, that sounds like some, a, some kind of a search roll, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. make some sort of a roll that seems appropriate. Yeah. What you got? Uh, I'm going to use uh locksmith as my highest roll. I got <laughs> that work. I got forty-one out of seventy on search. I got twenty out of something. Uh, could I use alertness? Would that help you think, or should I use dark purple? I did confirm, so not a lab. Deep purple. Okay, good. Um, I purple ring. Wanna, I got a four on an eighty for what search? Um, it's pretty good. Would heavy machinery be? Useful. It could. I got a good roll, so I mean, I'm just trying to think heavy, of something heavy different. Heavy machinery would be okay. useful, yeah. Um, I, I just got a 21 pass in alertness or search. That's really all I have. That would be anywhere near okay. what you're looking for. Just kind of polling the room for any other things that they... Just they search, wanted. really. Okay. Um, heavy machinery. Um, as you get up and kind of inspect the track, you realize that the track is not... The track is static with no mechanisms within the track. Hmm. So it's like a it's like a curtain rod, yeah. a curtain rail. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It takes the momentum of someone rolling the rollers along it. There's not some pulley or chain or yeah. motor driving it, um, which is unfortunate yeah. to, to contemplate. Of course. Um, so congratulations on that. That's what I assumed. I mean, I, yeah, I assumed it wasn't going to be anything helpful. So Right. And yours, your role was in what? Uh, was it in just search? search? Search. Yeah. Um. Uh, roll a d12. Yeah, let's see one. Ten. You hear a door open just down the hall. Great. I I alert everyone else and I I start moving that direction. Okay. Uh, you moving first then? Yes. The old man starts moving pretty quickly. Thomas, as you get to sort of the 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 turn, you you turn and you look and you see an incredibly fat man, incredibly shiny fat man. He's covered in a heavy uh, silver robe um, and he seems to be wearing a very plain white paper mache esque mask. Um, does, um, does he kind of 
spot me? Well, he's sort of he he's come out of a room and he's walking and he's sort of like walking at a pace. Um, and he turns back as if he's sort of like that that preternatural sense that someone's watching you. He sort of turns and you can see it's it's an older it's an older man. Um, you could tell kind of from the side of the head. The mask really only covers <laughs> like from the um just below the nose to kind of like you know the bridge of the hair um he sort of looks at you like does a little wave and then he um runs what do i say perpendicular to the way you two are facing each other and clearly hits a door and you can hear echoing footsteps as he's going down a stairwell dum, 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 dum. okay so I didn't want to inter- interrupt your no, no, amazing you can- narrative, but just I immediately like when he starts bolting, I'd let them know. And we're uh, we're going to follow this fat. F- <laughs> um, any comments from the peanut gallery before it becomes a chase? <sighs> no, if he says, hey, there's a dude, let's follow him. I'm going to f- follow him. But, but why? Um, what else do we have to do? First string we've had to pull. I don't got much else to. I literally gave you a man full of strings. Yeah, exactly. I mean, seriously. Couldn't find him. That's a that's a that is a that is a good. We turned a good. corner. That's all. Oh, we're done. <laughs> uh, Spencer, no more investigating needed. What's that? Uh, idea roll, which is I believe int by five. Okay. Idea is actually in a different game. Nineteen. Nineteen is a solid roll. Um, that general description of that individual is the same person who accosted Abby. Oh yeah. No. Yeah, he's, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Bye, yeah. See Thomas. <laughs> He had what? The one, the one who shortly after she moved in, she was accosted by um, right. a man in a silver robe, fat right. man. Right. What, what would you verbalize that? Like, what would you say as you yeah, took yeah, off yeah. after? So, um, he, uh, that, that's the man who, who uh, bothered Abby. And then I'll just start going. I'm not, I'm not even gonna. With that, I would follow. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, a lot of people are bothersome. That's not yeah. a big deal. Yeah, and, and what, and what pretense did he, did he bother her? <laughs> you bother her. I'm, I'm, I'm running. Idea roll. Well. As much as an old man. You want me to give an idea roll based off what I asked? What? I, I don't know. I just don't know where the idea roll came from. Let me just... If, if he yells, the man that accosted my yes. daughter is there and runs Pass. after him, 63 I'm running after him. You're pretty sure you know who that is. You've seen that mask before. You've seen those robes before. F- have we? Is the roll not good enough? I, to I mean, I feel, like, I feel like we've seen that several times. Like, didn't we see it at the uh, encounter group? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. We did. Exact same outfits okay. as the encounter group. Yep. Okay, that's okay. Until we woke up to. But you said the man. So we've specifically seen this this guy. Hmm. This fat shit. Is that what you're saying? Kind of, yeah. I mean, it might have been the guy who we spoke to before we all disp- disbanded from the group. Or I believe we also spoke to someone in a hallway that before we left. The Callister building. Hmm. Wondered. Wait, we didn't get into the McAllister building. Nope. But you learned a lot about it. Well, yeah. Yeah, the meetings that took place there. Yeah. The fat man who died on the roof in the 50s. Oh, okay. Yeah. When it was his house. Oh. Some bitch. That's a... Uh, Lundine? Yep. Henry. Or Charles. One run of the in, two. Run in, run, Lundine, run, yeah. in, run 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 in, call out to him. What's her name's dad? Yeah. But, I don't recall us ever seeing him. You didn't see him per se, but you've heard got, a lot about. Yeah, him. we've got descriptions. Oh, if you know his name, call it out. Also, Maybe probably have old. photos. We've probably seen photos. Oh, Henry, that. Henry. At this point, it is a thump, 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 uh, fast-paced chase uh, down the stairs. This fat f- is not going that fast. <laughs> Pretty good for a guy who died sixty-five years. The bigger ago. they are, the harder they fall. Or the faster, <laughs> By his own hand, or the faster they go downstairs. That's true. Yeah. It's more of a <laughs> rolling crash sound. I think we can catch You ever kicked a fat guy down a stairwell? No, but I'd like to see you try, Shorty. Thump, 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 thump. If uh, by kicked by, you mean was that fat man wrong? Yes. <laughs> okay. Question answered. <laughs> if by kicked by, you mean personal experience. Uh-huh. Uh, athletics roll there, uh, old man, right? Is this a chase for all of us? For all? Eh, I mean, it's a stairwell. Unless you're going to push the, the old man in front of you, no, it's kind no, of his. I kind of want to. I might. Uh, uh, yeah, 53. Out of. Uh, base, I believe, 30. 20. Oh, base 30. Um, Spin luck. No, wrong game. <laughs> so you, uh, you, you are all clearly hampered by the. <laughs> The septuagenarian in no, front. No, I want to be in front. <laughs> what, can we not? All I want to run everything because I'm old. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright also, Mr. Wright also has a cane, though, right? So it's kind do of. You, do you call out his name? 
Do you call out his name? See if he responds? Um, You're the one who rolled to recall. Yeah. So. Yeah. Henry. Please Henry, speak. we just want to talk. Please speak into the mic. I just yelled. <laughs> But not into the mic. Look at your line up. You're, you're at the bottom. I'm. You did right? not deep throat that mic. The, the small was where I was chiding your dumbass. So the loud was where I was yelling. <laughs> Jeff will determine whether or not you're close enough to the mic. I don't think he will. Uh, uh, you hear clearly several four floors down farther than you. You can hear thump 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 thump. <gasps> he had a heart attack. <laughs> He's dead. Boom. <laughs> he, he had to catch his breath. <laughs> Fatty McGee, why are you so fat? <laughs> oh, so fast as get alive. He's, he's so alive. fast. He's fast to get alive. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. You said he's um. You, you said he's. <laughs> you said he's already like uh like four floors down from us. Yeah. Is how is the stairwell? Have does it have like how's the stairwell? Is it just like a? Oh, it spirals down in a really fun and creepy way that makes you dizzy when you look over it. Is there a, a lot of a lot of floors? Is there a? Oh, is there is there like an opening that I could like jump down to try to sure absolutely <laughs> oh my god a hundred percent there is yeah go ahead and make a new character Fucking before Jason the last Bourne session thing. Uh, the game. It's Frankie Bourne <laughs> <laughs> as he just oh dies a hundred percent yeah I I just, what's your athletics? there may not have been but there definitely is plenty uh, of space for you to do that now fifty one. All right, you're over here. Uh, I'm wanting it to go down just like a couple levels. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Parkour uh, this shit. I'm definitely not going to parkour, parkour. Parkour, parkour. Roll parkour. Oh, that's that's a 99. Okay. We got this. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just, just trying to take it a couple couple levels yeah, at a time. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, I, I'm following you. I'm following you. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting up. Yeah, not, yeah. And I mean, it's totally doable, right? Like, it's not like there's... Yeah, yeah. No, totally doable. <laughs> Daniel, yes. His but your role is going to determine now. His tonal voice, voice is absolutely sincere. What I'm trying to say is the way Cody's making it sound like I'm making sure that the stairwells are actually evenly gapped and it's very, not like... Very, you know... Yeah, yeah, no. Very... Very rarely in games, but once or twice a night do I really hope someone botches a roll. 42 under 51. Hell yeah. <laughs> you all see, like, <laughs> Frankie without hesitation just parkours over the ledge. <laughs> and you guys... <laughs> You guys kind of hear a whoop -um! as he's able to go down. Uh, you know, you, he catches the rail and you're down two flights, basically huh. kind of dangling. OK, uh, at this it. at this point, uh, because we heard the steps start slowing down, right? Yeah. You, I mean, yeah. at this point, he could have went into a room. He could still be there. Um, it sounded like they slowed down per your uh, make an alertness roll, Daniel. Uh, that's a fail. Okay. You can't tell. Uh, it's echoey. You're not sure. There might be other people in the stairwell. Hard to say. Uh, well, I guess I want to try to keep running down to where I last heard the noise, to my best guess. Um, as the stairs go down, uh, or as you uh, you all hear, and you kind of hear Frankie, as he lifts himself up, and then you all hear, thump, 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 down the stairs again, and then farther down you hear, thump, 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 thump as running continues several more floors down it goes without saying that thomas is continuing to hobble yep absolutely i'm gonna I, i'm gonna let you guys pass you guys you can go ahead <laughs> okay. go ahead kids on your right uh, yeah uh dana would you like to make an athletics roll yes make it good it's uh 23 under uh, 51 Ooh. pass of all things in every game we play to these tables i appreciate the sound that daniel banks when he rolls dice mm. I, I like to get him it's, shaking it's the up. best rattle of all he of gets us some at the real table. he gets some real it's really good rattle i want that rng man i, I want get that. it i he's appreciate got, it he's got big hands they're echoic i, I, I appreciate it mm. oh we need that we need that sweet sweet table mic for things like this yeah table mic asmr or, rancor's yep. brothel you gotta you gotta you gotta, you know, enhance it somehow. You gotta bring the audience into the bo into the table, so when you hear that rattling of the dice, it feels like they're here with us. Well, so now most of most of us have the same dice roll. Well, I mean, I'm sure makes a couple no of noise, so like you don't even hear people rolling anymore. Like you can barely hear it yeah. when, when it hits that thing. Um. All right. Anyways, I passed. Sorry. For a long time, I wanted to put a piano mic in the bottom of the table, so when you roll, you would hear it clatter. You would just hear me farting. farting. It's just no, no, all farting all night. That's all, night. <laughs> that's all you just, get. That was the other. That was the other intention. <laughs> Hot rips. Um, <laughs> there might be some perverts out there that would enjoy listening to that, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, Frankie, we're gonna we're gonna open an OnlyFans of fart noises. That's all it is. Maybe just the we need the income. Dirtiest dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you come down uh, around um, a set of stairs, and you can see um, Henry Lundine uh, in front of you, and he's got his hand on a door, and he kind of turns and looks at you, and he pushes his way through the door. Um, 
and it closes close behind nothing. him. You close nothing. Um, I okay, no, I um, I only got one page of the sheet, but I know I have some other gear. I just don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to approach that door. And uh, I mean, if you want to give me a luck roll for it, like maybe like a pocket knife or something, I kind of want to make uh, some kind of mark on this door before I go into it. Uh, or if you could he just, lets people through, who is next in line? You could just yell what floor you're on. Well, I was going to say something before I go in, but there might be multiple doors. I don't know. Who's, who would be next in line? Uh, probably. I, I went right after Thomas. If yeah. Thomas gave way, then Athletics probably roll. me. Do you just want to call it Dex you're by Dex, or do you want to... No, because you're in a stairwell. Like, unless you're going to push somebody out of the way, you're kind of beholden to however fast the person in front of you is moving. That's fair. I'm pretty sure I got it. I'll take third up. Fourth up, technically. Yes. It was close. Uh, um, not in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I literally live in the country. That is, that is the problem. Where I kind of move into the fly. country. Got any local shiners we could holler at? You know. <laughs> Actually, you. I bet you find something around there. You I act go like blind I'm out in the tonight. boonies. Like I'm literally. Well, Drizzly doesn't deliver. In the middle of nowhere. I'm in the middle of nowhere, relatively speaking, compared to Avon or Indianapolis, where I grew up. I were nowhere near that in the middle of nowhere. This is nonsense. Um. <laughs> so yeah, you uh, you all sort of uh, run around the corners. You see Frankie kind of uh, taking a uh, ballpoint pen and scratching the the frame of the door. I'll kind of shove him out of the way and go through the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, my intention was to mark the door, then go in. He he made an athletics roll. He's like right behind you. I had to jump down like two two stories or two. He's spry. Yeah, he did, he's quick. Yeah, he's pretty quick. <sighs> okay, whatever. You All took the time for... to make an X on the door. He, he was taking the steps you. three at a time. I jumped down two you levels. Twenty three sand. I four down time. two. He gives no <laughs> about his own his own safety. I jump down two levels. Jumping down the stairs. There's Power a line. Sport. Well, either way, I'm still making that X on the door. I guess. Yeah, I want, that's yeah, fine. That's fine. That's a good idea. You all come uh, rushing in. Uh, Gideon, who now apparently is in the lead, having pushed past. Uh, you see um, another hallway, um, rooms and doors spanning on, and you see a man in a silver cloak and mask running from you. Um, I'm gonna just call out after him as I'm I'm running. Um, Henry, Henry, stop. We talked to Asa. We have some questions for you. Um, would you like to make any sort of persuasive role or are you just uh, letting yeah. it roll? Yeah, I can. Just let it ride. Let can it go ride. With that. I can persuade. 64 under 70. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll stop just dead in his tracks and sort of turn to look at you. I'll, I'll kind of slow down and approach him. He just sort of cocks his head with the mask. Staring at you. You're Henry, Henry Lundine, right? Yes. How'd you get here, Henry? I walked through a door. On the roof? The uh, the Lundine house? Your house? Yes. Where's the night manager? Do you whisper that no. in my ear? <laughs> it's just me being facetious. You saw the door on the uh, on the roof? Well, it was upstairs. Okay. So you're going out through that door? Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I have a meeting. He's very late. Who are you very meeting? Late. For an important date. Uh, the king. Ah. Oh. He's here. We know that guy, right? Is Abigail here? What, the white rabbit? No, the king. No. Oh, right. At this point, you all have run up and see that they're sort of having this quizzical tete-a-tete of maybe, what, five, six feet apart, Flynn? Mm -hmm. So, okay, it, first of it, all, when we all, safe. when we all, before you say a goddamn word. No, 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 when we all roll up. You talk with your gun, Spencer. I, I turn around, I, uh, uh, Aiden turns around and literally. And already the barrel of Clint's forty-four Magnum is in your nose. <laughs> literally, you lucky? literally turns around and goes, just wait. All right. I stop. I you see Thomas kind of um, take stock of things and then nod with a grimace. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, "This man is already dead. Just wait." Or is he? Don't fucking feed the fuel. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I seriously, <laughs> we understand that that he's dead. But was like, was a body found, or was he just presumed dead? Well, was, I don't know that we ever presumed. got no. He was medical presumed. reports. No, no, yeah, he was presumed. He kind of disappeared. No, that was uh, Darabondi. Was it Darabondi? 
Yeah, he was April 30th, 1952. Henry died on the roof of uh, the Lundine building of a stroke. Right. That's strange plastic silver robes wearing a mask at the time. Fuck. Okay. But I don't know that we got like full coroner's report. I think that was probably from a newspaper. It could be a cover up. He was wealthy. Or this could be just timey wimey. We're. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, it, no, it's absolutely timey wimey, yeah. but. Yeah. Okay. But he. No, my, my ambition is to calm you. <laughs> That's fair. Abigail Wright. She here? I don't know. We heard that she's met Thomas. We've heard that she is. Call you in 1995, saying that she was assaulted by a fat man in a robe that he knocked her over in the house. I mean, it's New York. It's like dime a dozen. Um, You had your asshole looked up by a fat man in an overcoat. (laughs) Exactly. 37 times. Now we we heard Abigail is with the king, or she's met the king, or. Uh, something could be um i don't know can i make a roll to just kind of subtly move a little bit forward without, <laughs> i think without... you could i think you could subtly move forward i think that it is a hallway so My, i'm li- uh, aiden is literally arms out like blocking this bitch <laughs> I mean, it's it's up to you. If it comes to blows between the two of you, I will let one of you or the other I, make the no, move like, I'm trying to keep distance a couple of feet, maybe, but I'm trying to keep distance between you. Henry, you we, need we know to roll you. against you, we can. Uh, we know you fine. <laughs> traveled with, with some others. We know that you and some others found these doors and... Uh, I mean, that's... That's what we said, right? I mean, that's what we were always looking for, I I guess. You and Asa, right? Well, yeah, a little bit. Seems very bewildered by this line of questioning. It's it's like it's half forgotten. Did did Charles ever travel with you before he died? Charles. Your son? Charles. Right. My son. Is he now in charge? Yep. Um trying to find the timeline here so that I remember what happened when. Mm-hmm. Charles died before he did. Okay. Two Couldn't years before he did. Couldn't remember which way that went. Of suicide. Uh, Charles, I, I, I mean, I haven't thought about Charles in a long time. Is he in charge? No, Lucas. He's he even funnier himself. the second mm-hmm. time. <laughs> you know what they say? Jokes are always best in twos. <laughs> uh, I, I, I haven't thought about Charles in a long, long, long time. Um, so, Henry, Henry, things have been a little foggy for us. What, do you know what year it is? Uh, you know, I can't say that I do. Damn it. So Th- Thomas has probably had, <coughs> yeah, uh, has probably had time to quell his murderous rage, but um, he, through gritted teeth, um, says, "Have you seen Abigail?" Uh, no, I don't think I have. You don't think you have? What does that even mean? I, I, I'm not sure, sir. Who, who, what does Abigail look like? I'm going to turn to Thomas. What does Abigail look like? (laughs) Spencer has no idea. So please, please inform. I mean, you, I believe that. What does Thomas say? (laughs) I mean, it depends on how upset Thomas wants to get, I suppose. But Thomas could describe Abigail if that's what he tried to do. No, I'm not going to describe Abigail, my daughter, to this fat f- I didn't um, know if you were using this to fly off the handle. It felt like you yeah, were that's what up. I was. Oh, that's no, why no, I turned no, no, and no. was calming. Oh, 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 yeah. I was like, I thought you, you were looking a- for your weapon stats. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, <laughs> I was like, are you building I, up to a? No, no, my brain. I'm getting my, out of your way. No, you no, my brain was just like, uh, I, oh my god, I don't know what my own daughter looks like. <laughs> I'm a terrible father. <laughs> I'm a terrible father. I mean, it has been how long? It's been a while. So <laughs> it has been a while. But no, you would you would be able to describe Abigail yeah, 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 if you so desired. Um. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll describe what what she looks like. I feel like I've seen her at one point. Maybe I I don't know. That's not helpful. We need we need details. Uh, sure. Over my shoulder, I yell, "Is she in Carcosa?" Uh, well, this man said she was with the king, so possibly. Have you been there? No, but the doors go anywhere. It's what they do, right? So you're just hoping you arrive there? No, I'm here for a meeting with the king. But how are you getting there if you've never been there before? Oh, he's at the conference room at the Wyndham. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, no, he's he's here, and he points and kind of like stamps his foot in the hotel. Where 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 are you expecting to meet him? Um, he looks very puzzled. Is it room six six six? Like pick a f- room? Uh, no, I 
I'm afraid I haven't found the conference room yet, but I'm sure it's it's here. Um, it's very uh interesting place with many doors that go many places. As I'm looking around, what floor are we on? What what numbers am I seeing? We ran down quite a few floors. Oh yeah, we eight, did. So yeah, but that's not going to matter. Yeah, you're on the second floor. Oh, that seems that's actually you what jumped I really far, Frank. Well, I expected us to be on the twelfth floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were going down. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Mm. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Lucas is like, damn it! I'll just keep drinking. <laughs> um. Well, we're not quite on the ground floor. I'm sure that's where the conference room is. Let's let's go down another flight. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. If it, yeah, you might be right. Let's go. Um. He says actually the the main staircase is over here. Um. And you sort of like walk with him just a short way, and you turn, and you could see sort of like um. You can see the main entrance again all of a sudden, um, where there was kind of a grand staircase that sort of swooped down next to the elevator. The atrium. Yeah. Hmm. And you, he steps down in. Oh, maybe maybe he is here. Um, excellent, excellent point. Thomas, stay your hand. Yeah. I'm, I'm contemplating pistol whipping him myself. Yeah. We need as much info as we can. Let's keep him conscious. Well, well he's someone, not, someone. If he's going to meet the king, this. I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> maybe the king has the answer. You go right ahead. <laughs> we could always knock him out and one of us can put on his clothes and be pretend to be him. I mean, well, if you guys don't want to go to this, I'll take Thomas and we'll go see the king. Well, if he, I don't know, if Thomas, if he, he doesn't know shit about my daughter, I don't go fuck. Um, I'm, 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 I'm to pistol whipping. Oh, I've been at pistol whipping too, but Henry, um, I'm also willing to see where this goes. He's he's starting to go down the stairs. Uh, yes, Henry. Uh, uh, so you you don't know if if Abigail has met the king. Do you know anyone who has actually met the king? Uh, yes. Uh, most of the residents here, I think, have met with him from time to time. It's sort of a home base for him. Okay. No. What did we? Oh no, that was a different guy. Sorry, King Bale. Sorry. We met a king. king. We yeah, didn't meet we met the king. Not, king. The, not king. the king. Sorry. I kept thinking like the king. I thought I swear to God we talked to this guy, but yeah, it could be it could be this king. Has it specified I, yet? No, it could be Bale. We have yeah. no idea. But do you ever see um, any of the old crew that you used to run with, Asa, Charles? Who Asa? who else? Yeah, Asa. Uh, I think Asa's here. Okay, I figured he would be. Um, uh, and who, who else? To Craig. Yeah, that's actually a good Lins. question. That's actually a really good question. You seen uh, J.C. Lynn's here? Uh, I think so. Um, okay. Rourke, Fitzroy, everyone's here. It's, it's the place to be. <laughs> I w- I will then go ahead and ask which king? Who is the king? What's the king's name? He looks at you like you asked a stupid damn question. The king. I mean, kings usually have names after their title. Is it Bale? No. Um, if you'll excuse me, though, I, I, I am very late to my meeting. I, I must find where I'm meeting him. Um, but maybe I'll run into the rest of you um, again. And unless you're going to do something, he will turn and go back down the stairs into the atrium. Well, I, I mean, I, yeah, go ahead. You, 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 we could do a contest roll or whatever, but obviously I would go and try to try to stop him, turn around and give him a talking to or whatever. But uh, yeah, no, I, mean, I got a talking to is different than shooting the guy. I'll let you talk to him. Said knock him out, take his uniform, pretend to be him. If you start to pull gonna your gun, I'm going to stop you. Yeah. Well, no, I'll take him, old man. Yeah. This is like Gran Torino. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. So I'll, 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 I'll just, uh, Clint I'll just approach black him, um, uh, invade his bubble just, just, just a little bit. And, yes, uh, sir. Uh, and, and I'll get into his face and I'll say, my daughter, Abigail, said a man that looked like you <clears throat> assaulted her. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what is it? <laughs> Just stopping you. Uh, possibly, sir. I don't recall. <laughs> I've assaulted oh, a lot of women. Possibly. <laughs> possibly. I don't recall. You know what? Shoot him. That's all you have to say for yourself? Uh, um, um, I suppose. <laughs> oh, f- he's yeah. gonna die. <laughs> I'll, um, so not only do I have a 38 special, but I have a, just a lovely, uh, expandable baton. <laughs> So if he goes to move for anything, I mean, yeah, I'm with Luke. I would try to bear hug him so yeah. he can't. So if the two of us use unarmed to bear hug <laughs> so, simultaneously. Yeah, so he'll do the stereotypical <laughs> off at his side. So if you want to right. try to grab him. So yeah. an extendable t- baton extends <laughs> with murderous rage in his eyes. And the two of us uh, go to bear hug him. Well, what are the dex scores? Uh, by five or standard dex? Uh, whichever one, as long as you compare 15. the same number. 
15, 14. What is your deck score? What's your dex? Uh, uh, 10. 10. <laughs> so Not yes, fast uh, enough. The 15 and the 14 would <laughs> Yeah. So you see Grandpa Eastwood extend the baton. <laughs> if you would like to react, you can. You would be first. So just that's unarmed? Uh, yes, I would say it's an unarmed if you want to attempt to grapple him. No. See, here's uh, the problem, guys. I'm a liability and Cody knows it. <laughs> he uh, he he reaches for you and uh, is unsuccessful. In 26 way. out of 41. Uh, you do grapple him. Um, so you kind of feel some mov- movement behind you. You shrug one bit of movement off. You feel someone else wrap their <laughs> arms around you and kind of pin your arm. Son of a bitch. Let me go. I, uh, if I fail, to, I'm going to st- I'm going to then just move bet- in between. OK. Um, could I do something in this turn order as well? What's your dex? Uh, 15. Yeah, I mean, yeah, theoretically. Um, while they're occupied with, uh, Mr. Wright, I'm gonna try to pistol whip him back the head. <laughs> not, sake. not right, the, the guy in the cloak. Yeah, yeah, no, I know what you're doing. So. Uh, sure. <laughs> Wild <laughs> card! Oh, yeah, we're I'll try to stop Frankie. <laughs> Your dex isn't 15, is it? Yeah, probably not. Nah, it's 12. Uh, make an unarmed still faster attack. than the old man. Mm, true. Nope, that's a fail. <laughs> You swing at this guy. So, baton, grapple, turns, swings with a gun. Um, uh, Henry Lundine sort of squeals and sprints down the stairs at full speed. Uh, Flynn, you're about the only one to act before Spencer uh, loses his mind. If there's anything you'd like to do. <sighs> Can I try to trip him <laughs> down I've the already, stairs? I've already, I've already got him grappled. Uh, sure. We'll, we'll call it... it, it you don't really have to put that much effort into a tripping someone. It's just whether or not you time it right. So we'll yeah. call like dex by three to get your foot out at the right time. No. So you stick your foot out, but he happens to just by nature step over yeah. it. And you're like, ah, damn. Um, <laughs> Spencer, old man. Yeah. Uh, so uh, obviously I'll, I want to shake him. Uh, so is there like. Uh, I mean, you got roll, roll like an athletics. Sure. You got that cane in your hand. You got that cane in hand. You can trip. I mean, you can. You you do have the rule book right there. You could look up actually how this is done instead of letting me make it up. I imagine it's contested by strength. It's probably strength via. I imagine it's strength for strength, but I don't know. Because I don't know where my copy of the books are. Either way, I'm pretty sure you're you're probably have lost. I presume we're under grapple, right? Oh. You presume a lot. Grapple is not listed in index. That's interesting. I believe it's a contested roll, and whoever rolls higher, unless I don't know if someone gets a crit, they automatically succeed. Yeah, but it depends on what you're rolling on. Well, Spencer rolled an 11, which would be a critical success. Yeah, but what's he rolling on? Because he may not have that skill. It would probably be athletics. You're out strengthening each other. Well, that's the thing. Is it a strength by five or is it athletics? Well, I said athletics because you didn't look up the rules, so. <laughs> well, I started to, but I don't see grapple in the f-ing index. Right. It's not six. 11's better than not six. Okay. It is critical success. It is critical success. It also is higher. You break free. Cool. Yeah, and, and so I'll I'll just uh, start ho- hobbling and uh, screaming and cursing uh, at this fat <laughs> f- uh, telling him to get back here, and I'll, I'll start heading his way. I will just be yelling your name. <laughs> well, it's always a chance. Did <laughs> you grip fail? Uh, Lundine is like running down the steps and uh, all of a sudden you see um, you see the the I don't want to say you see the cloak pull tight to the floor. <laughs> he bit it. <laughs> he and, bit it. Yeah. And yeah. he goes tumbling down the stairs. Thump, thum, 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 thum. <laughs> and is kind of and is sprawled there on the floor on his back. At least um, roll a D4 damage. Uh, Troy and Daniel, I believe, were sitting on the top at 15. Where are you actually at, Flynn? 12. 12. Okay. So I pretty much got everybody in the right order. I'm at 14, if that matters. Well, yes, but the 15s are go first. Yeah. I am going to go down to Lundine and essentially, like, put myself in front of whoever wants to try to charge him or do something, whatever. That would be Daniel. What would you like to do? He's on the ground, right? Yeah. Um, now you got to go through him. So, all right. No, so, how, <laughs> so, so, so how is this the penetrating power of bullets in this game? How many, how many, how many, how many, uh, how many stairs am I above them right now? 
<laughs> a thematic Second amount. Time. A thematically appropriate amount. High Frog splash. Do- yep. <laughs> roll, to, roll to break through his defense. I'm going to do like, five star what you're fl- doing. frog splash. I can probably just, maybe I could just jump over him. You don't know. Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. Go ahead and roll Eddie. your, go ahead and uh, roll your athletics, I suppose. <laughs> It's a pass, 30 under 51. Um, You kind of take the steps three at a time and take a big leap and sort of, you can't really bypass another individual by leaping off stairs, but you sure as hell can bowl into them. Okay. (laughs) Um, And the three of you now are all sort of sprawled on the ground, but uh, you definitely sort of get knocked over in the, in the extent of this. Uh, Lucas. Is London on the ground? Yes. Now he's been, he's tripped, rolled down several uh, sets of stairs and has now been tripped over as two bodies, uh, one body flying at a high rate of speed into a second body then tumbled (laughs) over the top of him. (laughs) Um, It's an op one to again grapple Thomas. Yep, you got Thomas grappled. <laughs> and I, I grab you and I in the calmest way possible, Thomas. This man is already dead. If he has the answers, we need to see where he goes. Kill him further. <laughs> <laughs> you there is absolutely no reason for this continuous violence. Uh, Flynn, you have an action. <laughs> as you've seen this happen. Uh, I'm going to, as I, I'm going to walk down to the, the pile. Um, who, who else is around? Oh, you're gathering a small crowd from yeah. the uh, atrium. I mean, Elmer is sort of glancing over you kind of, as you hear all this, you hear the elevator settle and you hear Charlie kind of, you see him kind of step out and slowly walk over to see what's going on. <sighs> Our friends had a bit of a spill. No, no, no issues here. We'll, we'll help him up. Thank you. And I'll, uh, I'll start trying to to get Henry off the the ground, but make sure I got his arm. Sure. Nice and tight. Yep. What well, has? It's in that. <laughs> I, ca- I kind of imagine as as he's yelling that. I'm yelling, you fat fuck. <laughs> you mess with my daughter and you'll pay. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. A little bit <laughs> of theater. Okay. Is, yes. is he waggling? He's, he's gesticulating as someone else is like trying to hold his arms down. He's got an extendable baton that he's waving. Uh, Spencer, it's back to your action. Uh, yeah, so. I'm trying to find the it's nope, too far. escape, but it doesn't give me a f- well, let's just see if I roll well. I didn't. I failed. Well, so okay, I was gonna say all if you're pinned, which I guess is how they're describing grappled in this game. It's a plus twenty percent bonus. Yeah, it's more so either, either, either way, you can't beat. Yeah, I have you. That's the answer at this point. Yeah. Okay. And I'm trying to calm you as well. So uh, you respond. Doing that thing up the nose. Uh, <laughs> Frankie, um, would you like to get yourself up off the ground, Troy? Anything you'd like to do? Yeah, I'm pulling my gun and aiming it at Frankie. Don't touch him. <laughs> I think I'm already kind of touching him. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Uh, I'm not touching I, you. I, well, I just didn't know how. I didn't know how far that I fell on top of him. So, um, well, uh, Gideon has sort of extracted Henry Lundine from the pile. So you're pulling a gun. Yeah. All right. Guns have been drawn. There are gasps. Are you saying anything? Free action. I literally he already just said, he already he said, said something. Said, don't touch him. Where were we five seconds ago? Well, Frankie's not going to take that threat. He's going to draw his gun, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, excellent. This is how the game yes, ends. Yes. We all die in a stereo. <laughs> Listen, I'm not trying to kill this guy. I'm trying to subdue him. I have him subdued. I literally have him by the arm. <laughs> now we're you do. good. Yes, I know. <laughs> Y'all can now put the do. guns away. Okay, I understand In Carcosa. That. I understand that, Flynn. I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe. He draws a gun first frankie's gonna react to it lucas I, and that's what i'm gonna I'm say so i was just i was just trying to do him he's a fat <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just holding thomas okay i'm holding henry and trying to de-escalate over here that's fine we have him subdued that's all i wanted to do I wasn't trying to kill him or hurt him you we were trying to pistol whip him even you were trying to, to hurt him to subdue him why did we need to subdue him because why do why we need to know where he's going right He's going to see the king. We already him. knew that. He doesn't even know where he's going. It's a conference room. Follow him. He doesn't know where that's at. And you do? Ask the concierge. No, but we have just as good a chance running around like he did to find it. All right. So trail him. Take his identity. Take his identity. Pretend to be him. It's probably going to be the best way to get information out um, of it. All right. How close would you guys put yourselves together with drawn guns? Well, not, not very uh, 
Well, fall. I mean, so I'm, I'm still laying on the ground. Uh, <laughs> Reggie's probably standing up, right? This is yeah. Reservoir so, Dogs. So, I mean, it's probably, <laughs> you know, five feet, probably, because, I mean, we were right there next to each other yeah, already. Absolutely. Um, there's someone who, like, basically stands almost in the middle of you, just... Gentlemen, ah, I'm glad that you're enjoying your stay here, but could you uh, please shut quiet down. your fat ass, Brady? <laughs> they just both open fire at whoever this is. Uh, they walk down the block and just ventilate five guys you f***ed. Oh, goodness. Keep dropping my <laughs> So, who do they ventilate? <laughs> well, I mean, it's Elmer. Oh, the f- cat's kill him. name. <laughs> Well, I mean, Frankie's not looking for violence. If he, if, you know, if, if Reggie starts to put his gun away, Frankie will put his gun away too. Just, he's just, he's just trying to defend himself at this point. So, I, I'd appreciate it if you uh, could keep it down so as not to disturb the the rest of the guests, please. <laughs> Nothing about our guns being out. All guns go to his face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wouldn't want to disturb the ghosts. Well, if you have ghosts, we have everything. You guys have guns. You have all the power in the world. Whatever oh, you want to I do. Have, I already said what I'm doing. Until Reggie puts his gun away, I'm not putting my gun away. Reggie? So. Well, I'm still got somebody else that I'm worried about charging Lundine, so... Well, he's subdued, right? Well, until he starts fighting again. Flynn, anything you'd like to do with uh, Lundine? <laughs> Lundine's is, ah, yes, this way. Um, and he begins to pull away from you a little bit and start walking. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll keep his arm, but I'll kind of like go with him, trying to slow him down, just kind of keep watching them. On and kind of there's gesture. a uh, spot next to the stairs where there is a small metal fire door, um, and it is marked staff only. Found the fire door. Ooh. That's where he's heading. Mm-hmm. That's the basement, right? My amateur plumbing interest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. We're gonna get a T-shirt about it. <laughs> I am also interested. Uh, amateur. I don't remember what you said, but it was a solid line. Um, it's lost to the to the, the people annals. who probably listened to it last week. Yep. Um. But yeah, he starts uh, pulling away from you, kind of dragging you along and is headed towards the staff only door. I don't know if the if the great GM will allow it, but I kind of like the idea of him trying to calm me down and I kind of want to see if it works or not. It was just like roll some dice. Yeah, if you want to roll just, some dice, you can. If it works. Roll some f-ing dice. Roll some f-ing dice. Uh, all right. Uh, my, my persuade fails. I mean, so he's not yay. very persuasive. All right. Well. <laughs> Spencer has decided to fly off the handle. <laughs> he, the handle has flown. No, nah, nah. so I, I, um, yeah, I'd say. Oh, sorry. Playing footsie, footsie with someone else. Hey, um, I'm trying to find escape. Yeah, so I'll, um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to break free. I want to break free. A fail. That's a real bad fail. Very bad fail. I did not break free. You break a hip. <laughs> Old man breaks a hip. Mm. Uh, either of the two of you saying anything with your guns drawn? No. If he's if he's walking away with him, I'm following. Okay. Then I will get up, put my gun away, and collect myself and follow as well. Um, uh, as uh, you two start walking towards uh, the uh, door that says staff only, um, someone in a red uh, bellhop uniform with kind of the yellow piping comes over and says, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, this uh, this is for staff only. Yeah, I talked to Elmer earlier. He's he's totally fine um, with it. I, I, go, go, go check with him. Uh, um, sir, I'm sorry. I can't let you uh, into this door. It Henry, do you only. hear how he's talking to us <laughs> right now? How's Henry taking this? <laughs> um. Henry is just about as passive as he's been in this entire time. I mean, you could try and pull that. I like it. It's a good angle. Um, uh, you see him saying, uh, Elmer. And the bellhop saying, Elmer, Elmer. Go, Henry, go. Now's your chance. You want to roll anything for that? Try and uh, persuade <laughs> his fat ass to <laughs> go for it. Just plow through this guy. Knock him over. So was 16 it- under 73. Ooh. Um, I assume you let go of, of Mr. Lundine. Yeah. Um. So just as the bellhop is sort of waving, Lundine lunges forward and just with his sheer bulk pushes the bellhop out of the way, hits the staff only door and just begins running again. OK, I'm going to catch the door before it um, closes. Well, the bellhop, the bellhop immediately turns and starts trying to chase after. Sir, sir, you can't go in there. OK, then I'll follow the bellhop. Sure. All right. I start trying to pull um, Adrian forward uh to follow uh flynn uh make me um some sort of sneaky roll but you get like a plus 20 what is it is it is it stealth? probably stealth yeah, yeah. stealth plus 20 percent. got it 3640 okay Ooh. you go through the door nice. uh I'm following um 
Roll, roll stealth flap. No. Uh, it's Kirsch, right? Huh? Your character's last name? Is that's Kirsch? Lucas. That's me. No. Oh, sorry. that's me. What's your character's last name then? <laughs> <laughs> it's Reginald Before Reginald. Goes, I'll wait. <laughs> Reginald Dwight. Oh, two front names. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. He's got two first names. Um, uh, uh, um, Mr. Dwight, uh, Mr. Dwight, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't let you in the, uh, the staff only area, sir. And Elmer comes, uh, walking over. I push through him. I'm going through the door. Um, I, I really, um, must insist, sir. I can't let you into that area. It is staff only. Still going? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, sure would be a shame, uh, sir, if I, um, um, do you mind if I ask, uh, when's the, uh, when's the last time you talked to Bernie? I'm not listening to him going through the door. Um, be shame whatever happens to Diana then. Not listening to him, I'm going through the door. Okay. You push through the door. Do you need to roll any sand on that? I don't know, do I? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me. No. I'm going to say no, like I, an empty threat from some guy in a creepy, like this whole thing doesn't make any sense. Like, okay. Could I have any chance to like sneak, sneak by during this, their encounter? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it, Elmer's kind of physically placed himself in front of the door. He's okay. kind of, Got he's it. sort of yelling as Reggie disappears and then he turns around and you're going to be face to face with him. Flynn kind of tagged along. Yeah. Troy steamrolled. Now it's a question of, are you all going to steamroll? Why, why can't we go down here? I'm sorry, sir. It's it's uh, staff only. What? So, I mean, you already have people that have gotten through that aren't staff. So what's... Uh, yes, no, I'll, I'll be sending folks after that. It's incredibly, um, it's incredibly, uh, um... Well, you're standing here talking to me, wasting time. You're not really standing other staff members after them. You're just going to stand here and waste time and... Jesus Christ, just pistol up the guy. Let them do what they want to do. Yeah, now you're talking yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> Jump down two flights of stairs, pistol bash, with some bitch. Bash your head against the wall and just <laughs> do move it. on. Well, maybe Frankie has a different ulterior, ulterior from the stairs to here. <laughs> that's changed. You took ten yeah. steps and you changed. He, he heard he heard names be mentioned at Reggie. I mean, he doesn't know what those names are, but um, it's just um, it's very important. It's not exactly the the um, it's not exactly the safest place down there. So we don't we don't allow guests down there for their own safety. Oh well, danger's my middle name. Let me go. I'll start walking through. Francis oh. Danger Fontaine. <laughs> <laughs> um. I I really wouldn't do that if I were you, sir. I, I understand. You've made this point clear. I'm still going. I got nothing to lose at this point. I'm sorry. I'm I'm going. He seems incredibly frustrated as the two of you walk up. <laughs> <laughs> he still has me, right? I the presume face. so, yeah. All right. Yeah, I rolled a 13, so. Uh, right, right, right. Um... Does Thomas still have a gun in his hand? Like, just like, it was a, I, no, it was a baton. Yeah, I, I, it was a baton. baton. Oh, okay. He's yeah. still, he's like restrained, waving that baton around uh, still somehow. It's just, yeah. And I, yeah, it's going to be up to you because I'm going to be just saying things like, let me go, f you. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. No, I'm holding you and just trying to call me. Yeah. Are you trying to push your way in after them, Lucas? Um, kind of, kind of. I mean, yeah, but also at the same time, making sure he doesn't try to hurt people. Yeah. So, like, I'm holding him, but I'm walking backwards. Yeah, but you're still going through. You're still trying. Absolutely, to get we're going. We're continuing. He doesn't say anything really. He just stares at you, <laughs> and is it almost to himself as you kind of hit the door and mm -hmm. start to go in. He goes, "Well, well, Mister Wild will be hearing about this," and he turns and walks out. Uh, walks away. <laughs> Our title track and additional musical arrangements were provided by friend of the podcast, Ian Shannon. Find more of his work at sleepforthewearie.com. Like what you heard? Check out more episodes online at rancorsbrothel.com or the Rancors Brothel on Facebook. You can also interact with other listeners at the Fans of the Rancors Brothel Facebook page. Want to contact us? Reach out to at rancors underscore brothel on Twitter or via email at therancorsbrothel at gmail.com. Most of all, keep circulating the tapes. Much love, everyone. Thank you.